Hello everyone, I am Deanna and I am here with a very special announcement today. I'm so excited to talk to everyone about this. So, all of my longtime viewers, you know that starting late last year, I began working on a bunch of secret knitting projects. And finally, finally, I can start talking to you about them. I'm so excited. This is secret knitting number one. Without any further ado, let me present you with Hope Point. Hope Point is a shirt. It is knit from the bottom up flat and it features mosaic stitch or slip stitch knitting. Uh, there are four large panels which are knit and they will make an awesome opportunity to use as stash busters. So, I intended to write this pattern for two colors only, but even as I was working on it, I could not resist just going into the stash and grabbing balls of yarn because if you're gonna knit a sweater in pieces, why not use all the colors, right? Otherwise I could just knit it all in one piece. So this guy is knit with four panels of mosaic stitch. After they're knit, they're sewn together and you can pick up and knit the top and then there are two long strips of seed stitch which make up the side panels and form sort of a quasi sleeve cap, so to say. And I have had so much fun working on this project. First of all, this is my first project that I have ever uh, submitted outside of my own uh, realms of control. So right now, live over on Nitty.com, you can get this pattern for free because their summer issue has dropped and is ready to go so you guys can start knitting as soon as you're ready to go. I had so much fun working on this pattern, but the deadline for this pattern submission was literally days, I think it was a week or maybe a week and a half uh, from my shoulder surgery. So the night before my shoulder surgery, I'm frantically knitting, trying to get this done, knowing that that last week or a week and a half, I would, you know, be post-op and not really want to be knitting. And the morning of the surgery, I had all of the parts knitted, but none of them assembled. So literally the day of my surgery, that afternoon, I'm in my sling, it, of course it's my dominant arm, and I'm frantically trying to sew together the pieces, one arm with my wrong hand. It was a little bit hectic, but I did manage to get everything done. And I think three days post-op, I walked myself out and just wandered around my neighborhood and tried to do a photo shoot with this beautiful pattern. I started out with me in my sling and my iPhone just taking all of the selfie shots. As you do, um, I quickly realized that wasn't going to work and it wasn't the greatest plan. And thankfully my poor husband took pity on me and he agreed to go out and help me do a photo shoot of my own. So thanks to him we have these lovely pictures and I was able to submit my pattern off and everything turned out just perfectly. Um, of course. I wasn't in it for weaving in all the ends and sewing everything together. You know, I was post-op. So in several of my pictures, if you look really closely, you may spot a, a strand hanging loose here or there because most of them I just kind of tucked up with a safety pin or a bobby pin and hoped no one would notice. It was actually, I think, three or four months post-op that I finally got around to but uh, finally sewing up all of the seams the right way and not just kind of a quick and dirty seam job. I have loved working on this pattern so much. I feel like I have learned so many things from just pattern writing and sweater math and grading out sweaters and Excel skills and photography skills and you know um, vector drawing for schematics. So many things and it's really been a joy and a challenge. Um, I especially loved trying to figure out this photo shoot. Please, please don't tell my surgeon, but I definitely slipped out of my sling and uh, proceeded to climb over the seawall just to take some beautiful pictures so I can share this pattern with all of you today. In case you're wondering, Hope Point is the name of a trail. Um, I have named several of my patterns after trails and the reason for this is that the first pattern I ever wrote, my Resurrection Pass hat, I was actually hiking on Resurrection Pass backpacking in Alaska when I decided that I was going to make this hat and I was looking at the colors of the woods around me to um, 
you know, to search for color inspiration and pattern inspiration. And since then, I just can't help myself. I've been continuing to name many of my patterns after favorite hiking trails in Alaska. This particular trail is um, just outside of Hope, Alaska. So picture the city of Anchorage. And if you were to fly straight across the water, about two miles, you would be in the town of Hope. But unfortunately, there are no roads that connect that particular route. Instead, you have to go up the Turnagain Arm and around and back down about an 80 mile drive. And it is a lovely town. I absolutely loved hiking out on those trails and camping in those areas, especially along the coastline and the water. And this particular trail, um, it's very steep. And at some point I missed my switchback and I ended up just going straight up the side of the trail and exhausted I sat down to rest in this beautiful spot. There were wildflowers growing in abundance. It was a spectacular view but of course all the wildflowers are growing at this angle because it's so steep that they're literally like the wrong way to the horizon. The yarn for this pattern some of you may remember from my feature of the Amirisu Yarn Club. This yarn is life in the long grass sport and it is such a joy to work with. It's just so buttery soft and lovely and the colors just could not sing to my heart any more than they do. I especially love the pale pale blue speckled yarn that I used for the neckline of this particular sweater. It is just a stunner. This colorway is starlit. Originally my plan was to knit this pattern in just two colors, a main color and a contrast color, but it was quickly evident to me that I could not resist to just grab from my stash and get anything I could. So I did end up using four colors of yarn all together. Our main color is this beautiful dark navy blue. This dark blue colorway is called Night Sky. For my contrast colors, I did end up pulling from my stash. I just couldn't help myself. This pattern would for sure make a lovely stash buster. I am using, of course, that beautiful light blue starlet. For my other contrast color, as you can probably see behind me, a lovely sort of pink and lavender speckly yarn. This colorway is called Prairie. And of course, I could not resist sneaking in even more stash busting yarn. So if you look close at my pictures, you'll notice that one of my back panels features a fingering weight sock yarn you may have seen before. This colorway is guacamayo. <laughs> and I have just loved working on every minute of this project. I really am excited to uh, see what other yarn combinations and colors and stash I can reach for. I want to make so many more of these sweaters and I hope you do too. So if you guys are thinking of casting on this project, I would love it if you shared your finished objects with me over on Instagram using the hashtag HaxtonKnitsMAL. You guys have waited so patiently for this pattern and now is the time. So just pop on over to knitty.com right this moment and check out their summer issue.